In Indiana Jones Temple of Doom, there's this great scene where the characters are escaping from the temple and they're being chased. And to get to safety, they come across a rickety old bridge and they want to try and get to the other side of the cliff face. But they're really scared to go across the bridge because it looks very old and it's going to break at any moment. And in the end, they're forced to go across because the soldiers are, are chasing them. And this is what it's like when we want to make a change. Where we are is not where we want to be. We want to be on the other side of the bridge. And it's uncomfortable where we are. And the journey, the bridge, is the scary part. And what tends to happen is we normally have some sort of discomfort that forces us to make that change. So in the movie, it's the soldiers coming out and cutting off any other alternative uh, for the characters they have to go across the bridge. In life though, for a lot of people, we kind of make ways of avoiding going over that bridge. Although we want to be on the other side, when we look at the bridge, the journey to getting to the other side, it's scary. It's high up. It sways when you go on there. Bits of wood break off. It's very rickety. And so we make excuses or we find alternative ways to sort of get around not going to where we want to be in our life. And then ultimately, it comes down to, is this working for us? Is the way that we're dealing with whatever the issue might be, giving us the life that we want to be living? So for example, maybe it's about wanting to get a new job or progress in your career, or perhaps it's about making new friends or trying an activity that you've never tried before when you'd like to give it a go. We often say we want to make these changes, but sometimes we get stuck on the other side of the bridge because the journey looks scary. And with change, that journey has to happen. We can't get onto the other side without crossing that bridge. So now we've got to make a choice. In the movie, and sometimes in life, our choices are forced for us. It's so uncomfortable where we are that the journey is not as bad. It's worth the effort, right? Work is so toxic that I'll do anything to sort of get out of where I am. But sometimes it's, it's not pleasant, but it's not as bad as what we think the journey will be. So we stay where we are. So now we're thinking about workability. Is what I'm doing working for me? Is it giving me the life that I want to be living? And am I living the life that I had hoped to be living by the values I'm living my life by? So if I'm constantly spending most of my time avoiding stress and anxiety by doing lots of avoidant behaviours rather than perhaps taking the steps that I need to take, is that working for me anymore? It, it works in one sense. It gives me short-term relief, but is it working in the way that I want it to work? And if it's not, then we've got to make a choice. And that is choosing to walk over the bridge. And if we choose to walk over the bridge, we're going to have to accept that it is scary. And can we make some room for that uncomfortable feeling? Room for the anxiety that comes with it. And we can do things that can help us to try and manage that. But we're making that choice because on the other side is where we want to be, where we want to get to making that personal growth of improving our life or our circumstances or meeting new people, expanding our horizons, those sorts of things. So as we go through this journey, can we make room for that? Can we acknowledge that this is difficult? Noticing it, allowing it to be there even though it's uncomfortable, knowing that if we get to the other side, that's where we want to be and that things are gonna to start to improve for us in terms of how we wanna live our life. So we're not trying to get rid of the anxiety, but we're making room for it. So I hope this video has been helpful to sort of understand why it's so difficult to make those changes and how we go about embracing or making room for the discomfort that goes with change.